From a mild woman's perspective, I'm going to share with you in this video things that I wish men knew about women. Let's dive in. Number one, when you meet a woman, don't be so much in a rush to sexualize the relationship. I understand she might be so gorgeous and you can't really help it, right? But honestly, when you do that, you're actually sending the wrong signal to the woman because she's going to perceive you as someone who just wants to probably this one maybe just one can chop go you know things like that but when you take it gradually i'm not talking about those who just want to hook up or maybe you just want to have one night stand and you just want to get along maybe you don't actually want something very serious with that woman you just want to you know chop and go well that is not what i'm all about that is not what my channel is all about but if you want a meaningful relationship something long term that would be fulfilling at the end of the day for you and for your partner then i welcome you to watch this video to the very end because you will not regret it so do not be in a hurry to start being so spicy throwing in the sexy thing and do not refer to her body women tend to dress in a manner in which is so revealing nowadays i mean people wear things that you can't really focus <laughs> okay because you're seeing everything everything is just in your face and for some guys they won't be able to like hold it but i assure you if you begin to become too spicy too soon sexualizing the relationship too soon you might actually chase her away because if she's someone who wants something more meaningful something more long term She's going to get the wrong message and she would run away. She go run. Don't be in a rush. Just build your relationship. Communicate. Communication is very powerful. Talk. It's still the talking stage. Establish that rapport between the two of you. Try and establish that bond first. Then I believe that things will eventually fall in place. Even the sexiness and all of that will come. But it will come later. All right? So hold it. In the first phase number two women don't really like the mind game thing you know like when you meet her you hang out you have your first date and you want to wait for like three days before you reach out you don't want to text first you're waiting should i text should i not text you know all of that i understand a lot of people are coaches nowadays and you know they just say these things based on their own perspective based on their own belief and i wouldn't say they are wrong because well everybody has a right to his own opinion but it is left to you to decide on what you want to believe and what you want to follow okay women don't generally like this whole mind game thing you hang out you have a date and you don't want to call her you don't call her back you don't text her maybe she's texting you you don't respond because you want her to miss you or whatever all that i don't know what they intend to achieve with all of that but just drop it if you hang out with her and you had a very nice time, we get home, just let her know that, oh, wow, I had fun. Hope you're home safe. It's as simple as that. Just be yourself. You don't have to put up an act or start being so gamey, gamey, and she's like waiting for you to text three days for this one week, and you're just doing this whole back and forth thing. Every sensible woman who really wants something meaningful with you will not... She doesn't have time for that. That's the truth. So if you're a matured man and you find her beautiful, attractive, let her know what you think. Let her know what you feel. Let her know if your date was nice. Whatever. Just let her know. You don't have to start doing all the whole, I call it hide and seek, right? Doing the whole hide and seek thing. I believe that this would even eventually make you attract the wrong kind of woman. Because if she understands that, okay, you're playing a mind game and she begins to reciprocate that energy, playing the game along with you. It might just be that she has hidden motives, right? So in order not to attract the wrong kind of woman to yourself or someone who is going to eventually become a danger to you, then just be yourself. Don't say yeah, you're too, maybe you're becoming too soft because you're telling a woman what's in your mind. You tell her exactly how you feel and everything. Because some people are so twisted. They tell you that hey, if you tell a woman she's beautiful, she will think or she will want to take advantage of you. You know, all of that garbage. Just be yourself. Be who you are. Be your authentic self. Let her know you had a nice time. Let her know she's beautiful. Whatever it is. And trust me, that's how you attract a very, very healthy woman. And you have a very healthy relationship. Number three, when a woman likes you, you would know. 
the body language is there it's not rocket science if she's interested in you and she truly likes you you will know i have a video where i talked about if a woman is comfortable around you she will do these things the link is in the description when she's attracted to you and you are attracted to her there is nothing she's not going to play games with you she's going to show it to you even if you're still trying to get her to say yes with her mouth right her body language is already going to be telling you that, okay, she's interested in you. Because trust me, if a woman is not interested in you, if she's not even attracted to you, she might not want to like be with you for so long or maybe hang around you or look for opportunities to just, you know, bump into you and speak with you. You might want to check out that video to even know if she's actually comfortable around you and then you can build on that. Building a relationship is a gradual thing. You don't just go from phase one to phase ten. Take it step by step gradually and eventually you're going to get to every point you want to get to. So when she likes you, you would know. When she doesn't like you, you would know. A woman you're trying to reach on the phone and she's just busy in your call, you know, she doesn't want to talk to you. Trust me, when someone likes you, when someone wants to be in your company, no matter how busy they are, they will make room for you. And this cut across both parties is not just about women alone, right? Even men too. When a man truly finds a woman attractive, he's going to find time for her no matter how busy he is. So when a woman likes you, you will know. She's not going to make communicating with you so difficult. If you think that she likes you and you can't even get a hold of her, you can't even get her on the phone to speak, or maybe she doesn't even respond to your text for three weeks, for one month, for six months. There are people who don't even respond for years. I've seen a situation where a guy was talking on X and he's like, a woman he sent a message to like close to three years ago was only responding to him at that time. So for me, I think, why would a woman just leave your message on red for three years? If she's interested, trust me, three years is too much of a time to respond to you. So if she's not responding, my brother, maybe you just move on because most women don't have the time to play mind games, except of course, she's a toxic kind of person and maybe she has authorial motives. So take it when she likes you, she feels comfortable around you, finds you attractive. You would know, read her body language. The signs will be there. <laughs> the signs will surely be there, right? Even if she hasn't said yes, she hasn't written it in paper or in text or whatever, but her body language is going to let you know that, okay, she's feeling me too, right? Number four, safety and security is much more than money to a woman. Okay, at this point, I know a lot of people might begin to raise eyebrow because I get a lot of comments where guys are like, just give a woman money and she's fine. Who cares? Who cares? Just give her money. That is all they want. Well, I'm sorry, but that is not all they want. Because honestly, you can have all the money in this life. You can make all of the money and you have a wife, right? She's more like a trophy wife. She's not really your wife. Like you're not really feeling it. She's not really there with you. And honestly, trust me, you can have all the money in this world and your wife might just be sleeping with someone who is not even up to your standards. She might take all of your money and give to that person. So a woman's safety and security is like the first thing she needs. That includes money, right? Because also money guarantees some level of safety, but that is not all there is to safety and security. She wants to feel safe with you. How do you react when situations are tensed? How do you respond to things? She wants to feel that she is safe with you and whatever comes, whatever the situation, you're always, always going to come true. So having this notion and this mindset that oh, it's money, oh, it's money. It's going to make you focus or channel all of your attention and focus into chasing money and maybe disregarding some other aspects of life that are very, very vital. A woman wants to feel safe with you emotionally, physically, mentally. You just want to be sure that you're not the type who will just, you know, at every provocation, you just have an outburst and you begin to display and you act up regardless of where you find yourself whether you're in the marketplace in church or wherever in the bank you just begin to actually just want to know that she can rely on you even if you don't pick anything from this video just pick this one thing money is part of safety but it's not all there is to safety number five a woman wants you to take the lead and just be at the forefront and she would follow this is similar to the previous point i mentioned but it is also very very important take the lead be the leader a man is meant to be the leader i'm going to give you like a very typical example in a marriage setting maybe your wife wants you to take the kids out or maybe she just wants all of you guys to hang out and have some fun and then she's like where are we going to and your response is like i don't know she asks you for some things and you always say, 
I don't know. I don't know. It's going to like cast a doubt on you because now she's beginning to think that why doesn't he always know these things? Most men think that all you have to do is just work your ass out, go out every day, work, make the money, bring it home. As long as there is food in the house, as long as there is shelter, you just think that is all there is. That is all you have to do in this life. You also need to be a leader. And this is a typical example of leadership. You can't be saying you don't know. Sometimes you have to be spontaneous. Go ahead and make that reservation and just surprise her. You'll see how like surprised and happy she's going to look. Go ahead and make that plan. Just forget the aspect of whether she's going to like it at the end of the day or not. And just do your part. Be a leader. Be at the forefront. Let her have someone she's going to look up to. Let her know that if anything like happens to her, that you're going to take the lead in every aspect of life. This will give her peace of mind and nothing is as romantic as a man who is a leader. A man who takes charge in every situation. Not the time that will be waiting for your wife like, but what are we going to do? I'm not saying, yeah, you shouldn't ask for our opinion every now and then. And, you know, like some people too don't want to like always impose themselves because they believe that they might come off as being controlling or being authoritative. Far from it. This is entirely far from it. I'm talking about like just taking charge. Okay, just take charge. I have not seen any woman who doesn't want a man who likes to take charge in situation, except of course, she's someone who is not well, because in as much as we have good people, we also have people who are not well. So take charge, do things, be at the forefront. Do not relinquish your duty to a woman or maybe allowing her to do things that you're supposed to do just because you're scared of her reaction or you don't want to be called out or you don't want to be blamed for things that will go wrong. That is a very wrong thing because at the end of the day, you're still going to be called out and be blamed. When you allow her to do certain things and it goes wrong, trust me, she's still going to call you out and blame you for it because you know how we are sometimes we blame you for everything, right? So you might as well just be the leader and do your thing, okay? Don't wait for her to take your duty and she's not going to do it well. A woman is a woman and a man is a man. For the sake of emphasis, I'm going to say this again. Do not dwell so much on the fact that she might not like what you do. Just go ahead and do it. The real satisfaction lies in the fact that you did it. There is no woman on earth who doesn't want to be led by a man. No woman. I don't care what the feminists say or whatever. Every single woman likes to embrace her feminine side, especially when she's with her significant other. And this is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. If you're seeing my face for the very first time, thank you for stopping by. My name is Wendy Zeal and I appreciate you for watching. Please, before you go, do not forget to like this video. Apparently, it helps the algorithm to push this video out to more people. Subscribe if you like content like this. Also, check out this video on the screen where I talked about sex and the implications of sex. I'm sure you would like it. I'll see you there.